Hello, this video is about forming and solving quadratic equations from word problems. So here's a word problem. It says the product of two consecutive positive odd integers is 2,499. Find the bigger integer. Well, you need to know that a positive um, odd integers are things like 1, 3, 5, 7. They're odd integers. Consecutive means that two of them in a row, like 1 and 3, or 3 and 5, or 5 or 7, and or 7 and 9 and so on. So they're consecutive. And the product means multiply. So two of these numbers multiplied together is 2499. So we're going to let x be the smaller number. Now this is an example where you need to use some English for you to be the smaller number. N O three. That means that x plus 2 is the bigger number. And the product of these two is going to be x times x plus 2. And that's going to equal the product of them is equal to 2499. So we're going to get x squared plus 2x is equal to 2499. Now, to, so now we've, we've now formed the quadratic um, equation. Now to solve it, we're going to go x squared plus 2x minus 2499 is equal to 0. And then I would suggest you solve that using the quadratic formula. So you're going to get, I'll use up here, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to minus 2, 4, 9, 9. And I'll do that now, and um, you'll see the solution in a moment. So there's the, uh, the quadratic formula, the minus b formula. Here's my two solutions, x equals 49 or x equals negative 51. I'm going to discard this one because we're told at the start that it's two consecutive positive and negative 51 is not the uh, is not a positive number. Now x is 49, that means that the bigger number is x plus two. So the answer is equal to x, and x 49 plus two, which is equal to 51. So that's my answer to the first one. Let's look at the second one. So the product of two positive consecutive even integers now, so now they're two, four, six, eight, you know, those ones. Uh, so the product of these is 168. Assuming the smaller integer to be x, um, frame an equation for the statement and find the number. So we're going to let x be the small number. That means x plus two is the big one because it's a consecutive even number. And we know that x by x plus two, the product of them is equal to 168. That's going to give me x squared plus 2x is equal to 168. You need to get into the form x squared plus 2x minus 168 is equal to 0. And then you solve it using the quadratic formula. Or you can use, solve it using factors as well. But the factors of uh, negative 168 are a little bit tricky, maybe. So use the, the, the quadratic formula. So I put these values here, a, b, and c, into the uh, quadratic. I've got these two solutions here. Let's read the question now. The product of two positive consecutive integers. So we're going to discard this. And then the question says, find the numbers. Well, the numbers are 12, and the next number is equal to 14, because it's x plus 2. So the answer is x equals 12 and 14. x plus 2 is equal to 14. So there are your two answers. Now, why don't you try to come up with a formula here and solve them uh, on this question here, and then press play and then see what the solution is going to be in a minute. So let x be the smaller number, therefore x plus 1 is the next number up, that's the second number, and the product of them is x multiplied by x plus 1, and that's 3906, so it's x squared plus x is equal to 3906, and then to get it into the correct form, x squared plus x minus 3906 is equal to 0, and then you can solve that using the minus b formula, or if you fancy having to go to factors of 3906, be my guest. That's how you solve that one. There's the solution, the solution of that question. x equals 62 and 63. Those two numbers multiplied will give you 3906. And also, negative 63 multiplied by negative 62, that will also give you 3906 because they're two negative numbers. So there's two solutions. The reason that this one is a solution and we didn't discard it is because it's an integer. And an integer, as you know, is a positive or negative whole number. So now why don't you finally try to work out what this one is in, try to work out the algebra equation for this and then solve that and press play to see what the solution is in a moment. 
okay, here's the solution. I said let x be the integer, and then 5 times of a positive integer, which is 5x's, is less than twice its square by 3. Twice its square is 2 times x squared minus 3. So this is the equation you needed to get. 5x is equal to 2x squared minus 3. Let's read it again. 5 times a positive integer is less than twice its square by 3. Twice by 3. So that's the equation there. Um, and then I solved it. I solved it by factors. You can solve it by the quadratic formula. I got a x equals negative a half, which I discard because that's not an integer, and x equals 3. And when I verified it, I got the right answer. So, okay, I hope that helped.